Hello guys, welcome back to another video. In my previous video, we checked out Unreal Tournament running in the latest version of Unreal Engine, Unreal Engine 5.7. And in that video, I mentioned that I'd be making a follow-up video showcasing all of the assets included in the Unreal Tournament 4 project. Now, this project has a lot of content, over 2,000 plus static meshes, including custom levels, fully detailed AAA character models, fully rigged vehicles from Unreal Tournament 3, and so much more. Now, these assets are technically restricted and can't be used commercially or even redistributed as they're covered under a pretty strict license and unfortunately Epic also took down the servers where you could originally download this project for free. Now I thought I had accidentally deleted these assets when I was removing my old Unreal Tournament project but I recently discovered that I still have a backup of the entire asset library saved and so at the end of this video I will be providing a download link to these assets. Just keep in mind that under the original license they cannot be used commercially and the redistribution exists in a little bit of a legal gray area but we'll talk more about that later on in the video and if you guys are new here to the channel my name is smart poly i make all sorts of unreal engine news and content and if you are interested in learning unreal engine for game development i have some exciting news my unreal engine 5 multiplayer survival game course bundle now has a 25 percent off limited time sale to commemorate the launch of unreal engine 5.7 we're having a special 25 percent off discount so use code unreal 57 at checkout when you purchase the survival game course bundle get access to over a hundred hours of learning content between both courses included in the single bundle and kickstart your game development journey today. So check it out, link in the description below or head over to my website smartpoly.teachable.com to learn more. And with all that out of the way, let's get right into the video. Okay, so here we are in the project. Now I got some of the assets extracted here in this level. I'm gonna be checking out all of them starting with all the way over here. We have some different character models. So these are from the canceled Unreal Tournament 4 game. So you can see these come with some first person character arms, very high detailed, and some weapons as well. And here are some different character models uh, from the assets. So we have a couple of these different skeletons. So I think when you get a kill, like the characters like explode in, into different pieces. So we just have some of the different pieces over there. And then we have some detailed character models, which are just absolutely incredible. Yeah, just look at how much detail are in some of these character meshes and you know it's a shame that these assets are going to go to waste because epic is you know discontinued unreal tournament and so they're not going to be using these assets at all at least as far as i know and usually when they what they've done in the past is they have made you know assets free to use for the canceled games uh, like they did that with Paragon and they also did that with with the Infinity Blade assets. So I, I hope maybe someone over at Epic will see this and maybe they'll make these assets free to use. And even they've done that with games like UEFN for the UEFN editor. And that has allowed people to create, recreate games and even use other IPs to create games and experiences. And so yeah, these are some, I think these are assets actually from Unreal Tournament 3, these ones in particular. So they actually extracted a couple of the assets from the older game uh, since I believe they're going to remaster it. So yeah, we have this Unreal Tournament logo. And so here are some of the vehicles. There's a ton of vehicles in here. And again, I think these are from Unreal Tournament 3, uh, but these are all extracted into the project. And the nice thing about this is it comes fully rigged. So these are actually skeletal meshes, which is pretty neat. So it has like all the different sockets and everything, you know, all the different bones and stuff. So I actually honestly want to make a game with some of these assets because these are pretty neat. And we have this thing. I'm not sure what this is supposed to be. Maybe some sort of walker. Like I never played the original Unreal Tournament games uh, other than Unreal Tournament 4. So yeah, here is I think some sort of alien ship. Okay, we have like this sort of like spaceship thing with like these tentacles. Yeah, I'm not sure. This thing looks pretty crazy. And yeah, all these vehicles are rigged. And then we have like this little tank over here, which is pretty neat. Has like a little turret on the top. I'm not sure. Did the Unreal Tournament games, uh, did they inspire games like Halo 3? Or was Halo 3 created around the same time as this game? It just feels like a lot of the vehicles are very similar or draw some parallels. So over here, we have a little cockpit area. This thing's pretty cool. It's like, I think like a hovercraft or something. You can fly it around. And then we have like the alien variant of the tank. Again, I'm not really familiar with the game. So 
I'm just kind of going off what I can see here. And this thing looks pretty neat as well. Looks like some sort of tank, some eight-wheeled vehicle, and maybe another hovercraft or something that can fly. Okay, we have a couple of neat vehicles over here, like a Jeep. And then this one kind of reminds me of like the Halo Warthog. So yeah, look how detailed this model is. You can see the tires. And I think the turret in the back, the player stands in the back there. It can uh, shoot the turret. So yeah, I'd love to use these assets, especially the vehicles, in making some sort of, you know, learning course. But yeah, here are some of the other assets that come in this project that are just shame to see, you know, go to waste because they're pretty well detailed, as you can see. And we covered over the outpost map, which was also another uh, map that, that's included in the project. So yeah, here's some windows over here. These aren't all the assets or props that come in the project because there's way more than what we see here. There's like over 2,000 static meshes, and I just didn't have the time to drag everything out into the project. But these are just some of them. And I think there's even more because as far as I can remember, they had a couple of other maps in Unreal Tournament 4 that they had completed. So yeah, here are some more different you know, bridges, wooden pieces. Oh yeah, also this background mountain range over here is also one of the props. So this is a pretty cool, uh, in my opinion, background mesh. You just drag it in the level and you have like these detailed background mountains. So yeah, here's some other different props. There's a bunch of different rocks. Over here are some different ruins. And what's neat about these is they're not like nanite Quixel Mega Scans assets. Like you can see, the geometry on these things aren't like super detailed. So a lot of this stuff is just baked into the textures, which is just really cool to see. You know, just see some of these high quality AAA assets. You know, maybe Tim Sweeney or someone pings him on Twitter and he decides to make this like a free asset pack you can download from Fab and update like the licensing on this. But you know, who, who knows, we'll have to see. So over here are some trees uh, that come included. And then down here, these are just some different plants and stuff. Okay, we have some winter trees with some snow. And then back here we have some more different props. So these are from like that outpost level that we saw in, in my previous video. They're super high quality and all of these details are baked into the normal map. You really have to appreciate, you know, how much time has been put into creating these assets because they have to go in individually model everything, bake down the high poly into the low poly mesh to get all those details and of course texture everything. Okay, over here, they have actually a lot of blockouts uh, in this project for some reason. Like if we actually check out the assets in here, yeah, there's quite a bit of stuff. So let's just make this thing full screen. Yeah, there's a lot of blockout assets and some of them are missing textures for some reason. Like a lot of these rocks, if you actually drag them out, I don't know if like the references are broken or whatnot, but a lot of these are missing textures. Okay, some of the assets in here are extracted from, you know, the Unreal Tournament 3 game. So I think like these pickups, they, I believe they ended up remastering those pickups and stuff later on. But yeah, there's a couple of other character models and other assets over here, actually, that we forgot to check out. So yeah, here is another one of the characters. I think this guy has like a different skin. And I don't know what this guy is supposed to be, like an alien character. I'm probably... There's probably like some crazy lore behind the characters that we're seeing here. But yeah, look how detailed this guy is. He's got a lot of different, you know, pouches and ammo and armor pieces there. And they have these first person arms too, variants. Here are some of the different weapons. So there's actually quite a bit of weapons in here. And then this crazy thing, this thing looks pretty cool. And over here is like the, I think like the flat cannon or something. Okay, we have some other different weapons. The rocket launcher, not sure what that is supposed to be, maybe like some sort of machine gun, and this little spectator bot. But these aren't all the props that are in the project, there's like way more. So yeah, here are some of the castle ruins, these are like metal pieces, archways, all sorts of trim. 
some of the castle again, staircases, yeah, just a bunch of random stuff, and I'd hate for all this stuff to go to waste, so hopefully someone at Epic will see this and uh, maybe, maybe release it for free, but, you know, you can only hope and dream, I guess, at this point, but I am going to leave a download link to this in the comments since for some reason they like disabled the server so if you want to like the github repository download the code you run the setup it gives you like some error that like the server has not responded and so i think i made like a tutorial video on it and i don't know if it was like the next day or like the next month but a lot of people commented that they weren't able to download the assets anymore that they discontinued the server and i thought myself that i actually deleted my project but apparently i had like a backup of it on my hard drive and so that's why i was able to pull all these assets from but yeah these are pretty much everything in the project so yeah just loads of different props and again like i said there's so many different blockout assets so a lot of different level design level level design, arches, walls, and yeah, that's pretty much it. They also have skeletal meshes, which, yeah, you can see there's a bunch of character models, the vehicles, all the different weapons. Yeah, so just a bunch of different stuff. So yeah, I don't know. Let me know what you guys think about this down in the comments down below. I thought it'd be a pretty interesting video to just check out some of the assets. I'll be eager to hear you guys' thoughts down in the comments. That's pretty much it for this video. So hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys in the next one.